Hi everyone, I'm here with a tutorial for this look today, which is a minty chocolate springy look. Um, this is going to be a tutorial I'm doing with my friend Melissa or Mel and PHS here on YouTube. I'm sure you guys all know who she is. We're both going to do a mint eye look, so I'm excited to see what she comes up with. I used um, the mint eyeshadow from the Lorac Mint Palette. It's the only mint I own. Uh, but I've been really wanting to do a look with mint, and this is what I came up with. Just a nice mint on the lid with some kind of chocolatey, warmer browns in the crease. And then I paired it with um, just some soft cheeks. Let me tell you what, actually, I'm just going to link it down below or write down below what is on the rest of my face. And then for my lips, I just put on the Mineralize Rich Lipstick from MAC in Divine Choice, and it's a really fun, pretty pink. So if you want to see how I created this look, then just stay tuned and don't forget to check out Melissa's video when you're done watching. I will link it down below. And if you are new and you came from Melissa's channel, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so to start off, you're going to prime your eyelid. I'm just using Painterly Paint Pot. I'm just going to run this all over the lid up to the brow bone. Next, take any matte white shadow you have. I'm gonna use this one from Makeup Geek called White Lies. It's just a nice matte white shade. And I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. This one is a MAC 239, just a nice flat brush. And you're gonna start off with that white color packet on your brush. And we're gonna apply this to the inner portion of our lid, starting right here on the inner part. Drag it out. eyeshadow. It's a few shades deeper than my skin tone. It's called Malt. And I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is a tapered blending brush from Sigma right here in our crease. This will help define the crease. It's not too dark. That's why I really like it. Um, and it's just a really pretty color. I've been loving this color for my crease lately. If you're like fair skin tone, it's really nice. Really nice color with that white. And you can just touch up any um, of the white that might have blended away. All right, now for my mint color. You can use any mint eyeshadow you have. This is the only mint eyeshadow I own and it's in this Lorac Mint um, palette. And it's this color here. If you have a Coastal Scents or a BH Cosmetics palette, I think there's a, a really nice mint in there that you could use. I just don't have either of those palettes, so any mint eyeshadow that you have will work. Um, preferably a matte color. And then I'm just going to start patting this all over the lid, and I'm going to overlap onto that white too. I'm keeping this inner portion white, but I'm putting that mint color all over the rest of the lid. I'll leave just right about this outer corner area blank. So once you have that mint laid down, you can take a little like blending brush like this and take any matte brown that you have. I'm going to be using Corduroy from MAC, which is just a nice rich brown. Again, another matte color. I'm going to just kind of start dabbing this on this outer part of my lid and I'm going to kind of get a little bit of a soft line kind of like that and then I'm going to blend it in and I like the way that this particular brown contrasts with the mint it kind of gives it a little bit of like a purple tone to it it's really nice I love kind of this warm rich brown with the cool mint color and just kind of keep adding, start off with a little bit and just keep adding as you need to. Definitely easier to add than it is to take away, so just keep applying and then blending. I'm going to take just a little bit more of a stiffer brush in that same color and dab that. 
And then I'm gonna take it in just a little bit of a darker, richer brown. This is handwritten from MAC. So this is corduroy, and this, this is corduroy, this is handwritten. As you can see, it's just a few tones darker. And I'm just stamping that out here. If you lost any of that mint, go ahead and go back on the lid with that mint. And then I like to just take that fluffy brush that we used to apply our crease color or a clean brush and I just kind of blend that out a bit just to soften it. For my highlight shade, I'm going to use Brulee from MAC. Really any matte, you could use a shimmer shade if you'd like, but I just prefer, I prefer matte shadows. And then I'm gonna take the fluffy brush we used for malt and just go in with a tiny bit more of malt just along this, um, between that dark brown and that brow bone color just to really blend it out. A little bit more of that corduroy color and just run that on the lower lash line. of that mint color and just popping that right here on this inner part of the eye. All right, so that is the finished eye look. I just did a little tiny bit of a winged liner with my Jordana Fabu Liner liquid liner and then um, paired it with a fine pink cheek. I, I'll zoom out just a tad bit. So yeah, that and now they're gonna mum along. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you were inspired by my mint eyeshadow. I love mint, I love it for the spring, and I really wanna do a fun mint eye look. I will be doing another mint look for my uh, Shades of Spring series as well, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see that. I will think of another way to wear mint, uh, mint eyeshadow. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Melissa's video and welcome to any new subscribers. I hope you guys enjoy my channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you later. Bye.